Hi everyone, so this is a quick demonstration about how to set up autopilot debug session in VS Code. This will include the physical autopilot hardware and also the software in loop. And this is not uh, operation OS specific, so it will all work in three platforms. At first, you have to make sure you install the OpenOCD and LDB for the software in loop debug. Also, the ARM2 chain GDB. If you can uh, compile the autopilot from source code, you should already have this uh, installed. And so in the West Coast side, for the stn 2 debug, you need to install the Cortex debug plugin here. So uh, let's begin. At first, I have the wireless setup here. This is the pixel 4 from Horrible. Uh, this is the Windows uh, STLink V3. Uh, it's already connected to the debug port here with the standard uh, port defined cable and it's always uh, recommend to have the Q programmer installed so you can check the connections before you uh, going further so I click the connect here you can see already uh, success you can see the NCU series from the piece of four and in the firmware upgrade here, you can open the STLink in uh, update mode. You can change the tape. Uh, my option is to always uh, use the two VCP and avoid the U drive uh, boost up in my Mac and causing annoying uh, warming. And the second VCP, the device is the same as the PixSoft. Talon 1 and Talon 2 with the uh, flow control and the VCP1 is can, uh, defined as the piece of uh, debug port here. So if you want to use the two VCP, uh, the second one, the pin defined is the same as the Talon 1 here. If you uh, use it in the software in loop as a serial interface, so it will uh, behave the same as this one. But if you want to connect it to the piece of talent, you need to swap the TS and RS pin. So uh, let's begin. In the West Coast uh, debug session here, you need to manage a launch JSON file under the .VS Code folder. Generally, this will be hard to um, maintain if you change your ball target uh, frequently and you have to uh, set up these uh, details here. So I make this uh, PR change here. You can uh, use the wall config to auto-generate the target here. So at first you need to uh, enable the debug so it will create a simple uh, file and this is a new uh, feature here you can enable with the VS launch option here so now I will delete uh, the file so this will uh, disappear now I will config and uh, this file generate again now I will use the auto print time here and I will build the print firmware. After the build is uh, done, we hit the start button here. I spend some time loading the symbols. If you want to flash the firmware direct into the PSOFT 4 with the STLink tools, 
you can find the firmware fresh address here. Fresh low address here. You can find it in the generate hardware defined header file. Now the device session is uh, set up. If I click the post, you can see it stored in the GBOS uh, thread. So keep going. In the play mode, uh, set mode function here, I will uh, set breakpoint and now I will uh, set up a main policy session with the USB cable. Now if I let me try to change mode if we can trigger the breakpoint. Okay, the breakpoint uh, stop here. Continue. As you can see, I have add three message here: the health console print and the print and the GCS send text. You can find the details here in the autopilot wiki. You can use this uh, print message to debug as well. And you can see the message all grow through the USB connection. This is through the Marlin collection. You can see there's an AP prefix here. And this is to the USB port. And the print function, if you enable the the STDL series you can uh, print message to the serial port through here and you can uh, see through the the VCP one in the Windows uh, ST link here so let's uh, trigger the break point again you can see the in the watch panel, you can view the variables here. You can uh, discover this, uh, all these features here. You can see the debug session here. If you uh, build a, you change the code, you build a new firmware, you can you can uh, pause the debug session and com uh, input command low here. It will uh, press the firmware into the, the pixel 4. After the, the loading success, you can uh, restart it. You can restart the session or just uh, stop and uh, start again. Okay, uh, this is the STN32 part. Now we uh, start the solving in loop part. At first we uh, configure again. We change the ball target to the SITL and run the config. And we check the launch file here is uh, changed here. If you want to have your customized uh, target here, you can copy one of these and modify and change your name so it won't uh, override by the script here. And we will use the auto print again. Now we build the print target. If you are familiar with the same vehicle Python flow, uh, after we set up this uh, instance, we will need a main policy uh, session to connect it. Now we start the debug session. You can see the log message here, waiting for connection, we trigger it. Okay, uh, set up the connection. We do it as the same as the stnc 2 we set break prompt in, in the print step mode here and we try to change the mode 
to be trigger the break point here. You can also watch the the variable here. See the cause uh, stack here, variable here, and we continue. You can see the message one going in here and the message three here. And the uh, print one is not uh, displayed in here. You can find it uh, in the debug message two here. The print uh, send a uh, message to the process uh, session here. So this is the basic usage. If you want to uh, more complex function, please check the wiki in uh, autopilot. There's a four part long video here. You can find a lot of uh, complex function here. So thanks for watching. Bye.